Welcome to Webidoo. In this tutorial, we'll get to know the Pages and Navigation window, learn how to navigate between the different pages of our website, and how the menu element is integrated in the structure of the website, and create new pages and links. The Pages and Navigation window is key for navigating in the studio. First, we'll understand how the website is built and how these menus are connected to Pages and Navigation. To open the window, we can click the plus sign or Pages from the main menu. The window has several areas. On top, there are tabs that represent the different menus and a plus sign to create a new one. Buttons to open new pages and links, the option to edit the menu's name or delete it. Below is the actual structure of the menu. If we click a category in here, a tab opens at the top of the canvas that leads us to it, so we can edit and make changes on the canvas. Every category in the menu has a name, an icon to indicate it's a home page, page, or link, and a controller to drag and drop for the changing the order or creating the submenus. On the right side are more preferences. In page settings, we can change the title, URL, include the category in a different menu, and change the name. We can also select this page to be the home page of the entire website. The page visibility feature allows us to set any page to one of three settings. Public, visible to everyone. Private, visible only in the WebEDU Studio. In the menu, it looks like this. Password protected, visible to visitors only when entering a username and password, indicated in the menu like this. Some pages are hidden. For example, the 404 page is hidden by default. Hidden pages are pages in your site that do not display on your menu. To hide a page, in settings, uncheck the display page on this menu box. We can duplicate a page and see the change immediately in the menu or delete one. You can learn more about the ad code and SEO windows in the Webidoo Academy video lessons. Now we'll learn about the menu element. When dragging a new menu from the elements panel, a designated area appears in the design panel. To learn how to design and change the look of this element, see the in-depth menu tutorial in the Webidoo Academy video lessons. We can access the Pages and Navigation through the Manage button and change the direction of the menu. This option is helpful for right-to-left languages. The menu can be set to be horizontal, vertical, or mobile. From this drop-down, we can choose which menu will be used in this element. All menus in here are the ones we've seen in the Pages and Navigation window. We can add new links directly in the menu element without the Pages and Navigation window. By clicking on any category, a plus sign appears from three directions. The left or right will add a link in those places. The bottom will create it as a subcategory. Any link can be internal, external, or an anchor. In the Pages and Navigation window, the link appears nested as well. We can add as many subcategories as we like. We can also edit the link. On top of the category is an X. Clicking on it will delete it and in Pages and Navigation window, it will appear as hidden. As explained in the beginning, we can also add new links in the Pages and Navigation window. To add new pages, we click New Page. It immediately appears in its own tab. Back in Page Settings, we can edit its name, title, and everything else. And that's how we manage the structure of our website, create and change pages, add links, and use the menus. You can check out additional tutorials to learn more about creating and managing websites in the Webidoo Academy video lessons. For any questions, we're always here to help.